Hey everyone, uh, in this video I'll show you how to run MUSV 3.1 on your Ryzen AI with NPU upscaling. So it's a 1.24 gigabyte download and you need a latest driver as I'm uh, told that so I'm not sure which is the driver version of it so I'm just using the July version of the uh, driver so after downloading you have to download the base models so it's not uh, absolutely generated offline uh, so you need to download the base image of uh, SD Excel Turbo so I'm using a uh, custom gender uh, model location on my external SSD so I did make a video earlier uh, there were some issues uh, so I've just uninstalled MUs and just now uh, started again so to make sure uh, that the NPU driver is on the latest version I've just downloaded uh, the Ryzen AI 1.5 uh, so it requires a development account or you can just download the adrenaline drivers so it will download the same driver version for you so let's get started so by default, the models are stored in your app data local abuse models. So if you want to use a custom location, you can just copy it there and it's a 14 GB download. So locomotion is for text to video and stable diffusion Excel edition uh, that is optimized for Ryzen AI that is around 9 GB. So most of the things are in Onyx format. So I'll also run uh, the Comfy UI that is optimized for uh, NVIDIA as well. So there you see I have to only have the F16 uh, Stable Diffusion 1.5 uh, model. So that is around 2 GB in size. So it's a checkpoint model. So one thing to make sure is don't change anything unless they are required so especially it uh, went into a deadlock so wherein uh, it was using all my GPU that is uh, both my NVIDIA uh, as well as AMD and so I'm not sure why is it switching to uh, uh, NVIDIA for some reason so I won't change anything for now. I'll just uh, generate it as it is. So as far as I know, so what it is doing is uh, it generates the base image and then upscales it uh, with XDNA2. So I have a hot point that is 8840. So if you are on uh, the pro drivers, uh, make sure you uh, remain on the pro drivers uh, because uh, sometimes uh, your certified applications might not run that well against uh, a certified driver from an OEM driver from uh, Dell, HP or Lenovo. So I'm using a ThinkPad and the e uh, NVIDIA GPU is via an eGPU. So this is the uh, default uh, NPU driver shipped with uh, the ThinkPad uh, driver uh, that was updated in uh, this month actually. Uh, this is the updated Ryzen 1.5, uh, I mean Ryzen AI 1.5 driver. So let me just uh, generate it once again. So this uh, the shuffle like icon. So 
it will just uh, generate new variation on each iteration when you click on generate uh, while the refresh icon so this is a real-time uh, uh, generation so I'll just run both uh, so that you can uh, compare so it does take a long time for the initial step I'll just have the task manager in the background So just uh, create a fresh generation. So there is only a small spike uh, on the NPU just to upscale the image. So most of them are running on the GPU. You just have to accept the license. So it does take a while to generate uh, an image or video depending on the prompts and the video count. Still, I'm not seeing a, a very big usage. I think it is on the uh, super resolution. Just, I think I can hear uh, my DGPU yeah, uh, giving warning. So I'm just uh, using NVIDIA broadcast to uh, remove all the echoes and uh, uh, noise. I think it is switching back to NVIDIA for some reason. I think that's the reason is not sure why both are in use mm -hmm. I think uh, with new versions I think uh, they'll fix the issue for some reason it's taking a while to generate I'll just uh, hit, hit uh, cancel generation because it is everything is getting stuck so even now you can try playing with AI filters and design which requires its own uh, base models. So I think it is around uh, another 10 uh, and 5 GB uh, that you can uh, download. You can download it to a custom location like I did so that uh, you can have it as a portable device so you need not download it again and again. So let me just, I think somewhat it is buggy, I will just have to kill it manually. Mm -hmm. So now I will just run the comfy UI. With the same prompt, uh, I won't be running uh, the video version of it. I think uh, on the beach, uh, sunny day. So I'm making sure that it is the same prompt. I'll just use the same. as a Ryzen AI click on generate
so this is just purely nvidia uh, there is no npus or anything involved so i'll just uh, delete everything and then start over so now it is running as expected So if you don't have NVIDIA GPU, uh, you can run it in CPU mode as well, uh, in Comfy UI. Uh, so it will be very slow, but uh, to, you can run the same models at a very slower rate. I'm not sure, I'll just retry with MUs. I'm not sure why it is very buggy. I'm not sure if it is uh, due to the beta version or it specifically only runs on Let me try this See if it is Okay, uh, close. Oh, okay, it's crashed. Is it crashing? I think uh, it might work on a uh, point without any issue. I think it requires uh, the absolute. 50 tops of what was recommended or uh, in the footnote it does say that uh, xdna should be enough with uh, 24 gb of ram I have reduced the video count to one but still I'm not uh, seeing any work being done I'm so sorry that it is switching to NVIDIA for some reason uh, and also the iGPU Uh, yeah, on a very slow XDNA too, you have to reduce the video count to one, otherwise, uh, you'll so everything gets locked and you have to force restart your PC. I think uh, this should be the end of the MU's AI video. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Bye.